These are today's Jeffrey highlights. From North Smithfield, Rhode Island, Megan Mello. From San Diego, California, Andy Carroll. From Ocean City, New Jersey, Chris Panulo. Good luck to all three of you. Here are your categories in the Jeopardy round. Lego 1000. In 2011, astronauts brought Lego sets to this structure, where they tested their performance in microgravity. Chris. What is the ISS? Yes. What is Diary of a Wimpy Kid? You're correct. What is Prince Charming? You got it. Arm 200. A spreadable preserve made from the pulp and rind of citrus fruits. Chris. What is marmalade? Very good. What is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? That's it. Who's Chris Pratt? That's right. What are POWs? That's correct. You have 7,600 in the lead. Megan, not that far behind. Here we go into Double Jeopardy with two Daily Doubles available. We're somewhere in these categories. Andy, you start. World Geography for 1,200, please. The Kuril Islands extend south from Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula to this nation that claims some of them. Andy. What is Japan? That's right. What is Djibouti and Yemen? That's right. Who is Churchill? Yes. Uh, tears, 16. Answer there. <laughs> the first of the two Daily Doubles in the round. 6,600. All right, you'll have an even 17,000 if you're correct in blood, sweat, and tears. Blood, sweat, and tears all contain this metallic element, the sixth most abundant in the Earth's crust. What is iron? No, I'm sorry, sodium. Oh. Sodium, of course, in sweat and tears. Knocks you down to 3,800, you're in second place. What is a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's court? Yes, and now you have the lead. What is a Kiwi? Right. Who is Tsar Nicholas II? Right. Uh, seven letter words for 800. The answer there. The other daily double. What do you want to wager, Andy? I will wager 3,700, please. All right. Here's your clue in seven letter words, risking half your money. Part of a famous quote this word is on the upper left of Karl Marx's gravestone. What is workers? Workers of the world unite, yes. You widen your lead. Okay. Is it Vicuna? Yes, for 2,000, that's important. What is O negative? That's correct. What is the aardvark? That's correct, you're back in the lead. Who is the queen of hearts? That's correct, you have the lead. You will go into final jeopardy with a $700 lead and no more over Andy, great game. The closest of games as we head into final jeopardy, plays is the category, and here's the clue. A 1609 story in which an exiled king of Bulgaria creates a sea palace with his magic may have inspired the plot of this play. Megan Mello on the end had $4,200. Still writing at the last minute? Did she get a response in? What is I had fun? Today. And then today. Okay, you can, you can keep writing. It's like a little diary entry for you. I'm glad you had fun. You're not gonna get any money for that, but you don't lose any either. You have $4,200. Close game between our champ Chris Panulo and Andy Terrell. Eight lead changes in double jeopardy alone. We're gonna start with you, Andy. $11,900. What was your response? What is the Tempest? Yes. An exiled ruler with magical powers may have inspired Shakespeare. So you're gonna to add to your $11,900. $3,499, giving you $15,399. And at least for the moment, you have the lead. A ninth lead change over our champ, Chris <laughs> Panulo. 21-day champion, $12,600. Had the lead going into final just on the strength of that last clue. Was he correct? Did he know it was the Tempest? What is the Little Mermaid? No, he's going to lose 11,201, leaving him with 1399. Andy Terrell, we have a new Jeopardy champion. Congratulations, sir. Well done. Chris, we'll be seeing you again, of course, in the Tournament of Champions. Can't wait to have you back on the stage. Click the subscribe button below and never miss another highlight. It's just like Jeopardy, but bite-sized.